Ramble Aid. It's an initiative from South Dublin County Sports Partnership in association with a couple of charities in mental health area in South County Dublin. And there are three different races, well we say races, but there are three different runs, walks, cycles, jogs, whatever you want it to be, a ramble through the parks of South County Dublin. And we went out a couple of weeks ago and had a chat with Toss McDermott and a couple of other people from South Dublin County Council and, and the Sports Partnership about the event. I'm here today in Tallis Stadium for the launch of Ramble Aid, a 5k charity event between held by South Dublin County Council. Let's find out a little bit more. We're here today with a South Dublin County Council player called King. Well, maybe if I might like to tell our viewers why you're here today. Well, we're here today to launch the Ramble Aid 2014. It's uh, an event that's in its third year. The first year we had a, a walk around the Dublin Mountains and uh, the first couple of years the defibrillators were bought out for the money and given to local clubs. Uh, this year and last year uh, it's five number walks within our local parks in South Dublin and uh, so this year it'll be five euro to take part in the five kilometers. It's a walk cycle or walk. And is there a particular charity or I suppose uh, an organisation that you're working towards this year? Uh, this year um, Sports Partnership came to me um, and asked me if I would like to choose some of um, the mental health organisations in the area because it's part of my year in America to highlight the issue of mental health. So we chose three uh, organisations, one Jigsaw, the Jigsaw Project which has been launched in South Dublin County Council on the 1st of May. Uh, another organisation which is countrywide but was launched here in Pallet, uh, which is Team in Ireland, and Beacon of Light, which has been turned off for all the people that have been directed. So hopefully we can play some funds for them all. Brilliant, and obviously, as hopefully, we have a lot of the local communities in Madison here as well. So, what are the been a big uptake from the locals here for the event? Um, well, today is the, is the launch, and it's in the last couple of years there has been uh, 600 participants last year and we're hoping to get that up to about 1,000 this year and that's also raised much more money than the local organisations. Well, that's fantastic. Best of luck to the team and project. Thanks very much. I'm here at Toss from South Dublin Sports Partnership. Um, Toss, maybe you might like to tell our viewers about uh, Ramble Aid? Yeah, Ramble Aid is a, uh, it's a charity event uh, that we're uh, running in May. Uh, it's over three Sundays in May. Uh, May the 12th, 19th and 26th in three of the regional parks in South Dublin County. Uh, it's five euros entry, uh, it's our 5k for our fiver slogan and uh, all proceeds go to charity. Uh, this year the focus is on youth mental health so we're putting it towards three charities uh, in the county, uh, Teen Line, Jigsaw and Beacon of Light. Okay, so it's obviously a 5k run or it's 5k challenge, but is there different activities that people can do? Yeah, it's it's whatever. I mean, it'll be timed, and if people want to run it, if people want to walk it, uh, we have cyclists. Last year we had a woman in a wheelchair. Uh, it's it's whatever, just getting out and mobile and participating in the event. And how are the local people responding to the event? Obviously, in previous years they've had quite a good response. Is it the same again this year? Uh, we're we're hoping so. We've just launched it just there now, so it'll be uh, from from today. It'll we'll be looking for registrations. And uh, the feedback last year we had. Uh, just under 600 participating and we'd love to get it to the thousand plus this year and I think we will actually because uh, the issue I think of, of youth mental health is something that, that rings with a lot of people uh, regardless of age and um, that's so uh, we'll be looking to work alongside the schools, the, the clubs, the community groups and I think uh, people will buy into it in that way. Okay and was there any particular reason why you went towards youth mental health? It was the, the focus for the mayor's uh, year in office and uh, and obviously it's it's something that you know will be close to ourselves as well. Our our objective is for uh, well you know well well we try and, and push the physical activity part. Obviously the whole the whole health of a person is important, and uh, and physical activity as we know also helps a person's mental. So um, that's why we uh, we decided we go for it last year. We provided defibrillators uh, from the proceeds, and uh, this year. Uh, as I say, it's going towards the mental health charities and maybe we might have a different focus next year. That's fantastic. Well, best luck to you and the team if you want. Thank you very much. So, that's Ramble 8. The 5K for a fire will return this May with the first event kicking off on the 12th in Hyman Park. For more information, visit rambleaid.ie. And that was Ramble 8, an event that started this morning uh, in South County Dublin and it will continue for the next two Sundays. So, there is still time to get involved. It's a fun, social opportunity to get a little bit active and get out and maybe get a little bit of sweat pumping um great event though absolutely and brilliant that it's so open to so many different things so you're not it's 
if you're a cyclist, if you're a walker, if you're a runner, you can get involved. Yeah, it's aimed at families and you can basically rock up with the kids, uh, have the bikes with them, they can go out for a 5k cycle. And 5k is not that long when you're on a bike, it's not that long when you're having a little walk either. It's maybe about an hour yeah. uh, of a solid walk and a little bit quicker if you're going to maybe jog it and a lot quicker if you're going to run it. But it's a, it's a good way to spend the Sunday morning at 11 o'clock next Sunday and the Sunday after. Check out their website to get more information. Their website is, if you ramble aid, if you check Google it, uh, you'll find the actual website. <laughs>